Life is full of problems. They could be marital, financial, spiritual, or medical. Some of these problems can be solved by a phone call, money, political power, your doctor, or your contacts. However, you may soon come across a problem that defies any solution. In Kakrabading's book, Rules of Engagement, you will learn how to use the spiritual weapon of prayer and be victorious over evil when it comes knocking at your door. Now is the time to learn how to pray before the evil days come. You can order this book through the following means. Place your order on Facebook by posting Order Rules of Engagement at the comment section or message window. We also deliver worldwide. This message is brought to you by the friends and partners of Kakra Baden. Welcome to Air Power with Kakra Baden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kakra is the senior pastor of the Morning Star Cathedral, Lighthouse Chapel International, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. Welcome to today's broadcast. Kakra has been sharing an insightful teaching titled Types of Prayer. Today, he speaks about the prayer of confession. Let's join in. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 is our key scripture. We have been sharing on types of prayer. Hallelujah. There are different types of prayer for different purposes. It's like clothes. We've got types of clothes. Some are for sleeping. Some are for the beach. You can't go to the beach in a three-piece suit. You have to wear the appropriate attire for the beach. In other words, well, also when it comes to prayer, there are different types of prayer that are suitable for different situations. That's why as Christians, we must learn the different types of prayer. The key to maintaining a consistent and persistent prayer life is to pray with all types of prayer because different situations will demand a different form of prayer. So last week, we started looking at the different types of prayer and uh, some of the situations that they can be used. I think the first one I spoke about was the prayer of faith. Definitely the prayer of faith. Very powerful prayer. It's found in James chapter 5 verse 14. The second one was what? Praying in tongues. Praying in the spirit. Number three, long prayers. I explained that long prayers, most of the time, they are for dealing with demons, satanic powers. The next one, the prayer of confession. 1 John chapter 1, verse 5. This then is the message that we have heard of him. God is light. In him is no darkness at all. The Bible says that God is light. It means God is holy. Darkness means sin. So in him is no darkness at all means there is no sin in God. Next verse. If we say that we have fellowship with him, verse 7, and 6, and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, then we have fellowship with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ's son cleanses us from all sins. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So here the Bible is talking about a prayer. And it says that one of the prayers that we should pray is we should confess our sins and ask God to wash us with his blood. If we confess our sins. That is only if, because you may not. But you say, if. That's why when you start praying, you must ask for forgiveness of sins. The soap and the water in the realm of the spirit is blood. It's like a computer. When you are cleaning your computer, you don't use soap. You use some kind of software, some antivirus to clean the computer. So the way you clean a computer is different from the way you clean a chair. So depending on the realm in which you are operating, what is needed to clean changes. So for computer, it's antivirus. But in the realm of the spirit, it's blood, depending on which context you are operating in. So the Bible says, this is one important prayer 
that we, we must pray. Why? So that we can have fellowship with him. Fellowship means we can talk to him, we can relate with him, he can be our friend. It says, then we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us for more sin. Fellowship is friendship. It means that God will be with you. He'll be your friend or the presence of God will be with you. The presence of God is very important. Wherever you are going, the presence of who of the person there is important. If you go to a restaurant and you sit down with your friends, who is as broke as you are, you are in trouble. Because you are in the presence of a broke man. So when you are going to town and you are in the presence of God, let's say God has access to everything. So who you are working with is very important. Thanks for joining us. Today we learned that the prayer of confession is to enable us to have fellowship with God. Join us same time tomorrow for the continuation of this message. Before we go, here's a praise report to boost your faith. I have finally gained admission. Dear Kakra, I came to you to pray for me concerning an interview for a nursing training school. By the grace of God, I have finally gained admission. God bless you. Thanks for your time. You can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full length message, or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to 233 55 790 10. Send an email to info at kakrabadian.org. You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you.